Did the four Bs regret not getting the drinks package on their P&O Avia cruise? Welcome along, I'm Tom from Cruising with the Four Bs. And in this video, we're gonna tell you exactly how much we spent on drink on a two week cruise and give you all the facts you need to decide whether the drinks package for P&O is for you. We traveled on Avia on a two week Mediterranean cruise in May, 2023. When I say we, it's myself, my wife, Rachel, and our two kids, Alice and Ernest. In that exact same month, P&O released their new drinks packages, four of them, and we're gonna tell you exactly what you get in each package. But before we delve into that, I've watched quite a few videos and read quite a few articles on the drinks package, and there's three things that normally are omitted. And these things are what you can take, drink wise on board, how much the drinks are on board, and what type of drinker the person doing the video is. And those three elements are very, very important. He ain't talking about us, is he? No, we wouldn't leave something like that out. I think we did though. Oh. So we will get onto that drinks package, but first, how much can you bring on board on a P&O cruise? One litre of alcohol, whether that is a bottle of wine, a bottle of spirit. Most importantly, you can take unlimited soft drinks. Coke, lemonade, water, juice. As long as it's soft, you can bring it on board. We took a whole bag, it's a whole bag of soft drinks on board. is it does say you can't top up throughout your cruise. Recently, they have been allowing it, but officially you're not allowed. So if you do want to take the risk, then make sure you know that when you get on board, it could be confiscated. So I didn't tell you. When you're on board, tea, coffee is available throughout the day. There's different stations in the Keys area, in the buffet area and other areas around and general tea and coffee is always included. Juices are included for breakfast and water is available throughout the day, including lots of water stations, which are perfect to fill up your water bottle as you go around the ship. Great if you've got kids. Next up is the drinks prices on board. Now P&O has been known to have very, very fair prices compared to other cruise lines. So we're talking for a small white wine, between six and eight pound, between seven and 50 and 950 for a large white. Rosé, a small is gonna set you back around 650, 850 for a large. Reds, between six and seven pound, and just under nine pound for a large red. Those are really, really good prices. Beers, we're talking around five pound a pint, maybe slightly under, might be slightly over, depending on the type of beer. Cocktails, between seven and eight pound. Very importantly, non-alcoholic cocktails are 375. On other cruise lines, you have to pay the full price, even though it hasn't got alcohol in it. Spirits, around 450 for a single, 670 for a double. Soft drinks come in at around 260. 335 for a large and things like J2O bottles are the three pound mark. So as you can see, those are really, really good prices. Another thing you really need to consider when you're considering the drinks package. Before we get on to exactly what is in the drinks package and what you can drink, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got so much more cruise content and guides coming up throughout this year, including more stuff from our trip on Avia. And if you enjoyed this video, it really helps out. It takes two seconds, press that like button button like button both of those are completely free so do that now and we'll really, really appreciate it the four b's say thank you as i said they're new for 2023 first of all if you don't want any alcohol you just want to be refreshed the refresh package comes in at 10.95 if you're buying it on board, 9.85 if you're buying it beforehand. That is daily per person. Big reminder here, there is a 10% discount before you get on board. But 
saying that, that's great to have a 10% discount, but if you've got a lot of onboard credit, you have to get the onboard price because you can only use your onboard credit once you're on board. Another thing to consider. Next is the alcohol free package. 22.45 if you're buying it before, 24.95 if you're buying it on board. That's gonna set you back, if the kids wanted that, around 700 pounds for two kids over a two week RV cruise. Those packages, the alcohol free includes small cost costas, mocktails, non-alcoholic beers and wine, sodas, waters, mixers and squash. And of course the refresh package, the cheaper one includes uh, your sodas. Drink alcohol packages. Now we're into two types of package. I will let you know the prices very shortly and tell you whether we saved money or we regretted not taking these packages. So we've got the classic and we've got the deluxe. Now the classic is the cheaper one. As far as cocktails go, we're including mojitos, mai tai, espresso martinis. The only ones that are not included and are included in the deluxe is your strawberry spritz, the IPA Stormzy, and other signature cocktails. But your standard cocktails are all included in the classic package. The classic also has Moretti, Heineken, John Smith's in pints, if you're into your tribute and IPAs, you'll need to be getting the deluxe package. When it comes to spirits, the difference between classic and the deluxe is the singles are on the classic and you get doubles for the deluxe. Spirits include Bacardi, Smirnoff, Gordon's on the classic. Obviously, they're doubles if you've got the deluxe package. And also on the deluxe package, you can get that is exclusive to the deluxe package, Tidal Rum, Grey Goose, Johnny Walker. Selected wines, small glasses on the classic, large on the deluxe. Costa, pretty much all of the Costa menu is included in the deluxe. And you're also talking uh, medium and doubles on the Costa coffees and the deluxe. On the classic, you're talking smalls. And also including the deluxe, which is not including on the classic, things like coolers. your general rule of thumb is that we're talking signature spirits in the deluxe we're talking doubles we're talking large glasses in the deluxe we're talking small and singles on your classic package don't forget to catch us on our socials our socials include tiktok twitter and instagram we keep you up to date daily all things cruise we have lots of fun on there get to know us a little bit that is cruising with the four Bs. Find us on those social media platforms and interact with us. We love a bit of interaction. As long as you're polite. Classic package costs $39.95 beforehand, $44.95 you're buying on board. So your classic package is gonna cost you 1,118 if you're buying it before. And it's going to cost you 1258.60 if you're buying it on board. If you want to purchase the deluxe package, 49.95 if you're buying it before, costing you around 1300 in total for two adults on a two-week cruise, 54.95 you're buying on board, and that will cost you just over 1500 for a two-week cruise. Hey, it's not cheap. Before we give you our totals, just to quickly tell you what type of drinkers we are. Pretty standard drinkers. I'll have two, three, four pints a night maybe, and then I'll go on to rums. Rachel will have maybe two or three wines. Some nights, obviously, we both have less. Sometimes we only drink maybe one or two. Some nights we'll link a lot more. She enjoys a rum. She also enjoys an espresso martini and maybe one or two other cocktails. I'll only drink cocktails if I'm on the drinks package. So that is the type of drinker. We'd say we're quite average drinkers. So over a two week period, we spent, drum roll please, 860 pound on drink. So you don't need a genius to work out that we did save a lot of money. We actually saved, if we've got the classic package, we would have saved, if we'd bought it beforehand, 260 pounds. If we bought it on board, 410. So we did make a good saving there. And if we had the deluxe, and we probably would have got the deluxe, we do like larger glasses, we do enjoy doubles, we do enjoy things like Tidal Rum, so we probably would have got the deluxe package. We saved 
450 pounds if we bought it before and if we bought it on board we which we would have done because we'd have a lot of onboard credit we saved 690 pounds so we did make a great saving we never went to the bar and thought oh no i don't want to buy a drink because it's going to cost too much money we just drank what we want we didn't care whether it was tidal rum the higher priced drinks or whether it was a beer that was more expensive we just drank what we want and those were our actual savings so really really good savings and also don't forget as well if you do the drinks package when you go off obviously you can't use the drinks package so you know maybe sometimes you're thinking oh, i want to get back to the ship and not enjoy the local drinks that's another factor there's lots of factors you need to think about and the main factor which we said at the start is what type of drinker you are what type of drinker you are and you can't ask some random on facebook only you know what you drink and what type of drinks you enjoy so do your research Hopefully this has helped you a little bit. Please do let us know what's your experience been of drinks package. Do you like the new drinks package or did you prefer the old drinks package? Did you regret not getting the drinks package or did you regret drink getting the drinks package? Whatever your thoughts on it, don't forget to let us know in the comments below. Hit that like button and press the subscribe button. Coming up on this channel very shortly, we complete our vlogs and we head to the Mediterranean, find out what we got up to in the Mediterranean, and also we give our full review on Arvia. Coming at the end of this video, we do have our full ship tour of Arvia. But for now, have a great week.